Today on HTN Daily, Bo Cormican sits down with a junior who celebrates the holidays in a unique way. And Wanderon is in studio to recap basketball's first home game and the football game against Memorial. These stories and more on this edition of HTN Daily. Good afternoon, Rock Hill. We are on our last week before Thanksgiving break, and thank you for tuning in to another edition of HTN Daily. I'm Monica Hanke, and we are live from Studio 1060. Class rings are a memorable piece of high school that students take with them after they graduate. Kashida Kama has all the information you need to know about the ceremony and more. That's right, Annika. If you order a class of 2020, 2022 class ring, the ring ceremony will be held in the auditorium on Thursday, which is on the 19th. The ring ceremony will last from 6.30 to 7.30. As you begin to prepare for the upcoming holidays, you can purchase a Honey Baked Ham gift card to support the PISD graduation celebration. You can purchase a plastic or electronic gift cards to be used at any Honey Baked Ham store at any time. Not only will you get your ham, but also 20% of the proceeds will be given to the PISD graduation celebration, which educates the students on the dangers of drug and alcohol use. And to celebrate the achievements and success of the senior class, and the fundraiser will end on Thanksgiving Day, November 26th. Enter the Blue Out Photo Contest for the op opportunity to win a $100 prize. The Blue Hawk Yearbook is hosting the Bl Blue Out Photo Contest. Entries are due by Friday, December 4th. Get creative with your original photography and your interpretation of the theme Blue Out. Enter your original photography at the tinyurl.com backslash blue out contest. Last night at the school board meeting, newly elected board member Dina Dixon was sworn into her seat, place number two. We've had four children through the district over the last 17 years, and I've been a volunteer in the community and in the schools, a substitute teacher, and now that my children are older, I want to give back the time that I've put into my family and those schools into other people's families. Well, today's news, back to you, Annika. The holiday season is a time for traditions, but not every student celebrates these traditions in the same way. Bo Cormican sat down with one Nigerian student who is holding on to a piece of her holiday culture on today's Faces Behind the Flags. I think being born in another country affects my day-to-day -day life um, in a drastic way. Holidays are a keystone in family life, but how you celebrate can be a reflection of how you grew up. Joella Agora was born and raised in Lagos, Nigeria, and for half her life, she experienced a very different world than the average Rock Hill student. I would say the culture is overall just a typical African culture, just a... Everyone views each other as brothers and sisters on the street. It can be an uncertain shift in someone's life to uproot their heritage to a new country, but bringing along family traditions can bring comfort and familiarity. So a lot of the um, celebrations that we celebrate here, we don't celebrate in Nigeria. I think a, like the biggest one is Christmas. I mean, obviously Christmas is celebrated worldwide, but Christmas in Nigeria isn't celebrated the same way here. Holidays are a great time to spend with family, but for Joella's culture, family gathers more than just these few days. Every, every day should be a day that you get with family. Most weekends you get with family, there are functions and stuff. So we, it's the celebrations we do celebrate, but the way it's celebrated between both cultures is very different. Um, we don't really do gifts there. It's more about the season of giving, but not really giving gifts. For some students, this season isn't about going home for the holidays. It's about bringing a piece of home to them. For Hilltop News, I'm Bo Cormican. Last Friday was an exciting night filled with football and basketball games. Wanderon is in studio to recap varsity football game against Memorial and varsity basketball's first ever win against Rowlett. Thank you, Annika. Last Friday, football played their home game against Memorial. We did unfortunately lose, but we did play the best game of the season so far. Bernard Cox passed for 301 yards and a touchdown and also rushed for 78 yards. And Houston received for 129 yards, but the clear MVP was Ryan Threat, receiving for 115 yards and a touchdown. He also rushed for 30 yards and another touchdown. Our rushing game also picked it up with Donovan Shannon rushing for 77 yards and two touchdowns. Defense also had an outstanding game with Gage Humberger and Luke Knight both getting an interception, with both being the first interceptions of the season. 
The other sport that started off their season tonight was boys varsity basketball. Boys basketball started off their season strong by beating Rowlett 75 to 50. We had some amazing performances by different players like Jathan Jackson who scored 12 points or Anthony Williams who scored 14 points. It was clear who the winner was when Rock Hill was leading Rowlett 40 to 17 at the half and we hope that they can keep the momentum going tonight when they face off Frisco Lone Star here at our arena. Lastly, girls basketball game tonight has been canceled. If you've purchased your ticket in advance, it will be refunded via Ticket Spigot. Varsity Volleyball is heading into playoffs. Connor Fisa sat down with Taylor Bass to talk about this season. Thank you, Juan. Today I'm here with Taylor Bass, varsity volleyball player, as they're about to head into the playoffs. So, Taylor, what do you think the reason has been for the, the team's success this season? Um, a lot of the reason for our success is just how hard we work. Um, as a team, we, we just have really good connections with each other, and we've, um, we've just, every day we've gotten on the court and uh, just given our best and, um, and just done as, as much as we possibly can to prepare for each game. So what is your game plan to beat Lebanon in your first playoff game? Um, our game plan is uh, just to um, watch as much film as we possibly can, um, learn from our mistakes, learn from our successes, um, just keep looking at um, everything we've done in the past and building on that and um, doing our best to just uh, go out there with as much energy as we possibly can because energy is something that's really helped us win a lot of games this season. So how is your guys' team chemistry being your first year ever as a team? Um, our team chemistry is really good. We all get along really, really well and, um, and we, just, we just came and like kind of molded together and, and formed this team and, it, and it's a really strong bond that we all have. What are your expectations for the team in this playoffs? Um, going into playoffs, we expect um, just to work really hard. Um, whatever happens, happens, but um, we really expect that uh, we're just going to go in with as much energy as possible and do our best to win. Thank you again, Taylor, for joining me. I'm going to send this back to the desk. Well, for today's show, for HTN Daily, I'm Gishida Kama. I'm Juan Duran. And I'm Annika Hanke. Mask up and rock on.